Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I decided to start the day off with some Monster Super League video because... I don't know, I think I'm feeling a bit, little bit, uh... A little bit emotional right now, <laughs> like... I... I went pretty crazy and summoned a shit ton of, uh... And, and, and rebirth all, 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 of, all of my monsters, basically all my three stars, except for... Except for these truffles. I swear to god, like, on the last day of... Rebirth, like if I still don't have the Dark Mona on like the very very last day of the Rebirth, I seriously will rage Rebirth <laughs> away all my truffles. I don't I don't give no fuck. Alright? <laughs> um Alright, let's, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, but I I, I, I want that Dark Mona so bad. Like I I, I don't care. I, I will I will do anything anything to get that Dark Mona. Um Damn! What if what if 423 is watching this? They they're like, hey, let's uh let's let's nerf his uh rebirthing rates, and then you'll see me like dump like you know a thousand dollars into this game trying to get that Dark Mona. Um, but yeah, today today I I, I decided to to um, upgrade some gems again because I I decided to completely regen my Dark Sea Star. Um, I have four million, which probably is enough to 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 raise three gems to plus 15 like if I'm if I'm not super super unlucky it should be enough to raise three gems to plus 15 um, but I'm not sure I haven't really checked what gems I have so I, I don't know what what gems I can use exactly it's gonna be a little bit hard to to gem up my dark sea star because um, you do need one crit rate and then like two defense and it's I only have square or double triangle I could gem my sea star up with um, with with some of the gems I put on my my dragons v10 team, but I'm not sure if I want to do that because you know it, my basically the dragons team needs like the best possible gems I have in order to do their job. So um, and my dark sea star doesn't really really need that. So I don't I don't think I'm gonna put like the best possible gems on her. Um, ideally I think an intuition set would be best. The problem is I don't have. Yeah, I don't have any crit rate gems. Yeah, my gems are horrible. The only crit rate gem I have is this ruin one. Um, I mean, this one does have resist and defense, but I don't have I don't have any other defense ruin um, six star gems. You know, you know what I mean. I don't have any of those. Oh man, if I had a if I had a crit rate, if I had a six star crit rate intuition gem, it would be perfect. Cause I, I do have I do have a defense one. I do have two defense um, triangle intuition gems. I think my Victoria has something. No, that one's a five star one. This one's a six star HP. I could use this 5 star one, it, it's better than using a broken set because intuition gives 20% crit rate and then using a 6 star gem only gives you 10% more crit rate so um, it's it's actually okay to use to use a 5 star intuition crit rate gem because it will it will outscale the, the 6 star one if you have a full set um, I guess I could do that the other the other thing I could do is just you know just don't give a shit and use uh use triple defense, but I'm not sure how high I can get that crit rate up if I just use triple defense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade these two defense gems first, and then I'll see what substat they give me. So today is today is gemgasm day. It's uh it's it's been a long time since I did this. I haven't I haven't done this since I started raising my dragons team. Oh, nice. Attack's pretty good. Oh, I need some crit rate. Crit rate would be perfect, but I, I mean, you know, this is better than a flat stat. And it, it is a 7% roll, which is really high. So a lot of people have been asking me how I, mu how I get so much gold. This is a good gem. This is a good gem. Like, it's not it's not ideal, but it's a, it's a really good gem. Um, I might as well upgrade all the way first before I move on to my other one. Um... So what I want now would probably to, I think a mix of all these stats would be good. Just anything besides recovery would be perfect. So yeah, back, 
back to the topic. A lot of people have been asking me about how I get so much gold in the game, and the the short answer is basically just golems B10. <laughs> a lot of golems B10 farming. Um, the higher level you farm in golems, the more gold you get over time, because the the higher quality like great gems that you get. Um, I think it's only a few percent more, like to get six star gems in B10. But the the chance of getting more gems with like more substats is also higher. So gems with more substats also sell for more, meaning that the higher level golems you farm, the more more um, gold you get faster, basically. So I've I've only, I only farm golems B10, um, and that's why I I get a lot of gold. Um, yeah, that's basically where all my gold comes from. That's the that's the short answer. Also, um, some some newer players were asking about how to get um, how to get XP. Like, what's the best place, best way to get XP? And what you want to do is actually you want to find a map that you you have monsters, like strong monsters that you can farm against in. Um, for example, I farm on Mirage Ruins, which is mostly wood and fire monsters. So I have like a few pretty decent fire nukers with AOEs, um, which are like you know area effect attacks, which can hit a lot of other units. Um, so I've oh this is nice defense HP. This is this is sweet. Damage. So yeah, you, you go to one of the, one of your maps and you want to upgrade or not. Yeah, you want to upgrade the the capture rate all the way to full. Like just pick a map that you will be doing most of your farming on, and you just upgrade the capture rate to full, so you have more chances to capture monsters. Because you definitely want to be able to catch as many monsters as possible. Um, and then you you farm. You just you just use your team, and then like you use three nukers, and then one monster that you're farming up and raising. Um, Alright, this gem kind of went to shit. Well, actually, it spawned a flat stat, and it gave me bonus attack. So as long as that it doesn't go, like I think, um, if the plus nine goes to like attack, and then plus twelve, like if one of the plus nine or plus twelves goes to like attack or resist, it, it's still going to be a decent gem. I think I have no choice. I have to use the crit rate because I don't have any crit rate substats with these. Like, none at all. Come on. So you go to a map, you upgrade the... You find a map to farm, you upgrade the capture rate to full, and then you farm on extreme mode, and you farm on the map that gives bonus XP. There's like always a map that gives bonus XP, and just farm on that map. And that's how you get the most XP, like, XP possible per, per energy that you use. How you get maximum efficiency. Um, it's more efficient to farm maps, like, later on, because the, the, they give, the maps that are, like, later on give you more XP. Oh shit, the, the gem already went to shit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you go, you, like, because I farm on Mirage Ruins for a few reasons. One, I can clear this map really fast, although it doesn't give me the best efficiency. Um, the best efficiency would be just, like, um, Slumbering City, basically. Like, this is the, this is the, the highest, I think this is the, the last map, right? Yeah, after Sky Falls is slum Slumbering City, right? And then these two are still locked. Like, this one's open. I'm not sure if this one's open. I'm, I'm I can't I I can't remember. Um, but I, I haven't even like cleared through this one yet because I'm I'm just I, like there's there's no point for me. Like it gives me one legendary egg once I clear through it, which is probably still gonna give me one one random four star shitty monster. So I don't I don't really give a shit. Um, so I basically I've been staying here and farming, and there's always a map on 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 any of your modes um, that give you bonus XP. Also extreme mode gives you the best efficiency possible. Like it gives you the most XP, most um, most gold, most just most everything. 
Um, so like extreme mode has the highest efficiency compared to normal mode in terms of XP and gold. But um, during events, if you're just only trying to farm the event monster, you could you could just spam normal, um, and you know you can still level one your monsters slowly while farming these maps to try to capture stuff. And yeah, as you as you move forward, the the maps actually give you more XP. Like the maps on on Star Sanctuary, these maps they'll they'll give you more XP compared to maps um, you know like over here, for example. So. It doesn't matter which which map you farm, like the, the numbers, um, which n number you farm. Um, it will give you the same amount of XP, except for this map, which gives you bonus XP. So you always want to farm on the map with bonus XP. And yeah, that's that's this the most simple way to explain it, I think. All right, back to back to upgrading. Come on, please just give me one more attack. I think it'll be nice. Um, aggressors actually still scale with attack. Like if you give them bonus attack, they actually hit harder. Because the aggression actually is like added on top of the you, you know or original amount of attack. So if you have like high defense plus high high attack, your aggressors can hit really really hard. I wonder if aggressors scale better with attack or with defense. I mean, like, if you use, like, defense, it, it'll obviously... Oh, nice, it went to attack. 20% attack, that's, that's actually pretty sweet. I'll, I'll upgrade the the um, the square defense gem and see what substats it gives me. Actually, wait, no, this one, this one already doesn't give me any substats. I mean, this one can still be really good, because... Because it can give me a lot of HP or a lot of attack as well, if I want to use this on a... On another aggressor, one with a square slot, one with like two square slots. Oh shit! Wait, I can use these on my succubus. All I need is a, all I need is an intuition crit rate. No wait, I actually no. I, if I if I need a gem set for my succubus, it needs to have like really really high crit rate. So I guess this is the only one we can try. I mean. I can maybe if I'm lucky spawn one crit rate. It's so hard to push 100% crit in this game. It feels really hard actually. Like not near 100% but like actually over 100%. It feels so hard. This this gym just went to shit. Looks like I have to use this five star one then. I don't know. I don't. I don't like using five star gems. I mean, this one does have like really good substats, but it's only two substats, so it can still spawn some shitty ones like these. And then there's no guarantee that the plus nine and plus twelve upgrade will go to these two. That's why it's so hard to get like the perfect gem in this game. Or not perfect, but like like really good gems, you know, gems that aren't complete trash, basically. Like, it's more likely that you'll get a gem that is, like, just really, really sub-optimal compared to a gem that, you you know, might be really good. And plus, there's only three slots, so you can't really do a lot of customization with your substats. You can't push, like, the all the exact right right stats with all, all your gems, because there's only three slots. So it's a lot harder to, like, if you want to have, like, 100% plus a lot of crit damage, you know, you basically you need to have, like, the, the most godly rolls. You know, now that I think about it, if, if I use a broken set, it's pretty much the same thing. If I get this to plus 15 and use a full intuition set, it's better than if I use a broken set. But if I use a broken set, um, 
If I only get this to plus 12, and I use, use a broken set, then the broken set would be better. Come on. Stop being a little bitch. An upgrade. Alright, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my times ten. Use my ultimate skill. Unleash my bunkai. Reveal my true form. You know? Alright, just give me some more crit damage. It would be perfect. Damn, this is only a 5 star gem. It's already failing so much. I don't feel that. I feel like my luck's pretty shitty today. I feel like my luck's pre been pretty shitty recently. Ever since yesterday. God damn it. Come on, upgrade. And go to crit damage. How many tries was this? It's over 20 already, I think. It's well over 20. A 5 star gem from plus 11 to plus 12 is taking me like more than 20 tries. What is this bullshit? Hmm. Holy shit, I already, I already burned through a million. Well, wow, more than 30 tries? Are you kidding me? Damn, what is wrong with this gem? It's not even that good. It knows I'm desperate. This gem, it knows I'm fucking desperate. That's why. Alright, um... I do have a... Crit rate intuition gem, but there's only five stars. I don't know if I should even keep it, it's not even that good. I don't even just overlap this shit. Well, oh, this one's a six star one. Recovery set though. I'll take it out first, I'll take both of them out. See what I can do with them first. Now, at some point down the down the line, if I if I'm not feeling it, I'll I'll, uh, I'll sell them. Damn, it's costing me so much to remove these gems. Alright, this give me, gives me 55% more crit rate. If I upgrade this, it'll be like around 70-ish crit rate. And then I'll get these two to full. And that should give me... Yeah, let's just... I might as well, like... I might as well get them all the way to full first, you know? This is so hard. Alright, I... I mean, all my substats are already out, so I might as well do this like off video, because there's no point in me doing this on video, because you you guys already know the results. I'm gonna burn through three million. <laughs> I'm gonna burn through all three million of my gold trying to get all these gems to plus fifteen, and eventually, at some point, I will. And that's that's the end of the story, basically. But yeah, I want I wanted to see her like maxed out. I want to see my C star. I mean, this isn't maxed out. Like the the other two gems were pretty shitty. Well, no, one of them was shitty. The other one was decent. The substats on this gem is is good, but um, but it's only a five star gem. I wouldn't be getting this to plus fifteen if if the rolls weren't this good. I mean, literally, it spawned these two, which were pretty shitty. But the the other two upgrades went to these two, which is like awesome.
Come on. All right, give up. I give up. I'm gonna do this off off video. There's like no point in me showing that. Um, but I I wanted to show you guys my my team for like light dungeon because I'm gonna be farming light dungeon a lot today. Um, because I have quite a few monsters, a few light monsters that I want to upgrade. Please, let me quest. All right. Um. Yeah, I I want to farm light dungeon because there's a f a lot of monsters like my my July my um my Mona and who else July Mona fuck wait I'm I'm confused I, I'm I'm confused what was my other monster oh yeah the snowy the snowy was the one I wanted to raise um yeah I wanted to I wanted to raise the snowy July M M Mona to to Evo three. I might as well start feeding these. All right, I'm gonna keep one, one dark snowy left over, um, and then one light snowy left over, and then I can feed all the other ones away. So this one has two diamond, one triangle. This one has two triangle, one diamond. Which one should I keep? The one with double diamond. I mean, triangle only gives crit damage, which is like probably I'm not gonna gem for crit damage. So I guess I'll keep this one because diamond gems are. Like diamond attack gems are not um, not really that necessary, I don't think. Wait, no, no. Let me let me check like most of my light attack monsters. This one's using a diamond. All right, I'll keep the double triangle one, and then I'll I'll feed away the one with the double diamond. I'll keep one of the dark ones that have like all unique slots. So square triangle diamond. I'll keep this one, and then I'll feed away the other ones. I'm gonna make my snowy evil three. All right, let's do this. Lock, locked astromons could not be used as materials. Wait, which one did I not unlock? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Oh wait, this one. Let's unlock you as well. Would have been nice if I if I caught another snowy with a square slot, or if I kept my like water snowies from the event before. But I I failed my fusion with a water Leo, which is like super super dumb. If you guys don't know the story, um, one day before the fusion ended, I had everything ready, like my Leo at Evil Two and my Snowy at Evil Three, and then I went and tried to do the fusion, and um, like I. And I realized I was short like 300, uh, 300k gold, so I, I started farming and then I, I waited until the next day. I, I got enough gold, I waited till the next day where I could, you know, do it on video. And then I when I tried to do it, um, <laughs> the event was over. Which was super dumb. Um, so, yeah, I, I fucked myself. Always make sure to come out and grab these challenge quests. You get 10 Astro Gems every single time that you make a monster to Evil 2. So if you just make a monster to Evil 3 without doing that, you lose 20 Astro Gems, basically. Just a little tip. For the free to plays. That need to make sure you get every single little amount of Astro Gem possible. I mean, it's kind of annoying. Like, I wish, I wish you could, it could like accumulate or something, and then you just come out and grab it all. They need to give us a separate storage thing. Like, this is, this is insane. Wait, I can keep two actually. I'll keep two dark ones, one light one. 
Oh wait, no, I don't have enough. Yeah, I do. Because these two are going to be kept. And then I can... One, two, three. So I'll, I'll feed this one away and then I'll keep one dark one. I'll keep two dark ones. Let's see if I have another dark one with a different gem slot. Why would I need two darks? I might as well keep three lights. I'll keep one dark and two lights, yeah. I mean, the dark snow is not that good anyways. Like, it's attack down and stun, which is... I mean, it's decent, but it's, it's whatever. I have something better. Actually, wait. Uh, fuck. Where is it? Alright, I give up. Um, we're gonna... Alright, since we're keeping the two dark ones, two light ones, we're gonna feed away all these dark ones. I counted one more because... because of, um... the event. The event actually gave me extra snowy. Wait, did I make anything evil too just now? Not go grab my shit. Fuck, wrong, click the wrong thing. All right, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you guys my my uh my dark team for light dungeon after this, and then you guys can see that. It's gonna be sick. All right, it's gonna be real sick. Alright, and then I can make the evil 3 now. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch any variants, but the variant skill, to be honest, isn't all that good. It's still nice to have the variant skill, because just in case, um... For situations where you don't you don't have a variant skill to, to use, like a leader skill that you could use, you could still use this one, because this one's pretty good. Increasing blue soul recovery means you can nuke a lot more. Um, that is awesome. Alright, looks like I'll never be able to get the, these 180 gems, but whatever, fuck it. Alright, I farmed a shit ton of low light stones just now, just like, just in case I ever run out again. I was, I didn't even have enough, I was like, at like 17, I farmed like 120. I just rage farmed. I, that's what I do. I rage really hard. Just to make sure it never happens again. Alright, so I, I wanted to try out some some teams to farm the light dungeon. The light dungeon actually hits really hard, so it's not it's not actually that ideal to to use all nukers. Um, I have tried some things, and I my team actually ended up wiping on on some of the runs. But now that my C star has slightly better gems, I was thinking of using something like this because um, I don't have a dark armor breaker. Actually, wait, no, I do have a dark armor breaker. Well, let's try this one. Let's try this team. I want to figure out a team that can farm this really fast because I want to farm as much as many times as I can today. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna be like be like you know farming super hard from the moment that it started because it, it started like yesterday and I was like asleep and stuff. But um, you know, f just for a few hours, I wanna I wanna be farming B10, try to get as many highs as possible, po possibly like 180 high stones, just to just to do as many fusions, well not fusions, like 6 star as many light monsters as I, as I can this week. Because I'm probably going to be farming the... Farming for the, the truffles quite a lot. So I need to 6 star a lot of monsters to do that. And I don't want to waste any of my, my runs while I'm 6 starring. So I I might as well... Um, I mean like, you know, when I'm farming, I, I might as well like have some monsters to raise. Actually this isn't that good. The, the mobs in this don't hit that hard, but the boss does. The boss hits really hard. 
And he has shock and uh, an armor break. Which both decreases your defense, and he's light, so since you're all dark monsters, he hits you like just really, really hard. But once I get my Sea Star gems like max out, I think it should be a lot faster. Yeah, my Victoria should be doing pretty well, I think. I mean, she's only evil too, but it's it's still pretty good. I basically all use event monsters. All four of these are uh, are from Rebirth. Well, actually no, the Katito's from a capture event. Capture fusion event. But I basically only use Rebirth monsters. It's like it's like the only thing I'm interested in. You know, I think the Rebirth monsters are always like stronger than the than whatever you can summon. So you wanna definitely wanna grab them. I really like Monster Super League because it rewards players who are like actually playing. I mean, technically, you could spend a lot of money and summon, and then rebirth and go get all these monsters. But you have to be actually playing during that time, so you can't you can't just join the game, spend like you know, spend like a million, and instantly be pay to win. Well, actually, you can. There's there's actually some pretty pretty sick nat fives. I don't think this is too good. I have no armor break on the boss. If I had some armor break, he'd be dead by now. Like, he'd literally just be dead. Oh shit, I think my Katito's gonna die before he gets to use his nuke. Yeah, shit, I just wiped. That was, that was horrible. Alright, maybe maybe I should use the Cupid. Cupid might be better than July. I'll try with Wood Katito first, and then... Because Wood Katito does have a very, very nice armor break. My cold's too squishy, like I I kinda I kinda um, got ahead of myself when I six starred my cold. He's really really good, but he needs to be evil three. Like he can't he doesn't he can't do his job properly at evil two. And I don't think I can get him to evil three anytime soon. Like he's definitely on one of my highest priorities because he's gonna be for my, my dragons team. Um So I might even gleam the other Colts. Sounds like a waste, but it's actually not that much of a waste. Because the Colts have no... Although they're 3 stars, they're only obtainable from Light Darks. So I would say they're as rare as um, a certain 4 stars. No, they're, they're actually even more rare than, than certain 4 stars. Because there's only 2 elements, and you... You, uh... You can summon a lot of random monsters from those Light Dark Eggs. If I pull two more Colts, I'll glean them both, and then raise my Colt to Evil 3. Alright, nice, I have Armor Break now. I just need to, like, kill the side units fast, and then kill the boss fast. I might actually just, like, it might actually be better for me to just focus on the boss, because the side units don't really, don't really do anything. This is not a stable team. I need to use my Cupid. Didn't even land the armor break. See if I can put fatigue on him. Or thirst or whatever his second skill is. I think it's fatigue. I get them mixed up quite a lot because they kind of do the same thing. One of them decreases SP. One of them makes it so you gain less SP. Which in the end kind of does the same thing. Thirst I, I think is slightly better because it can still remove your SP bar even when you're when it's full. Well, if I focus one of them, I can kill the boss. But then, if I if they decide to hit the units on the side, then it gets really um, really risky for me. I might just play it safe. I, I should probably just play it safe. Probably play it safe and use this. Use uh use my Cupid. Dang, I kind of want to start using my Cura. Maybe I should jump on my Cura as well. How long is this video? It's been 34 minutes already. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, last run, last run. I'm gonna make sure this is stable, and then I'll...
I'll, I'll just be doing this the whole entire day, like just doing this non-stop. Oh yeah, some people have been asking me my daily routines. I have no daily routine, I just basically make a plan, like what I'm going to do today, and then I do it. It's usually farming whatever map. There's no routine for this game, it's, it's like, it differs from day to day. And what, what monsters I, I have to raise. So literally, like what I share on these daily videos is is like what I'm what I'm doing every single day. Like if I say I'm farming light dun dungeon for for hours on end, then that's what I'm gonna do. My Cupid needs some really good gems as well. Definitely needs some better gems. He's an HP aggressor, he's also a healer dark type monster, meaning he doesn't have that extra crit rate, but he does have 30% extra resist, which is really nice. Um, but that means he won't be able to hit as hard, because with the aggression, you want to like crit and hit a little bit harder. But I guess even if you don't crit, it still hits pretty hard, so I guess you just want as much HP on your Cupid as possible. Because his shield also scales with HP, so... Um, just have as much HP as possible. Dang, why was it so easy to like rebirth all the other monsters before? But it's like impossible right now to, to get one dark Mona. I'd be really sad if my Dark Mona doesn't have a square slot if I if I get one. I'll probably still keep it, but like I, I do want at least one with a square slot. I want three Dark Monas, like if, if my ideally I want three Dark Monas. Um and one of them at least needs to be like the main one, the, the one I actually use on my dungeon teams and stuff. Needs to have a square slot. No, ideally all three of them needs to have square slots. Um but if the other two don't, I can still used like you know attack on them but what the other two are gonna do is basically to help me farm during events like if I want to rush through maps really really fast on like the story maps really fast I can just th put my three dark monas together and then just have them um, just nuke really hard because they're they're they have a strong AoE second skill which like hits really hard and then they have um, morale boost on first skill which helps them get their second skill faster. So I'm, this team's like it's kind of the same speed. It's not it's not really that much longer. So I might as well keep using this team to farm. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today uh, for the whole entire day. And it's been kind of a pretty long video doing a lot of random things. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.